still having a little terminology problem. I suspect other folks uh, might, might also share that. The distinction between a hybrid cloud, uh, the public cloud, and a private cloud. Could you explain the, some of the maybe subtle differences between those? Christian, I'm sure you'll jump in here too. We look at a private cloud as something within your infrastructure. If you're an IT, you're a company, you have an IT group, if, if you have a data center. Typically when you build a cloud, you're building a hybrid cloud, very, very secure within your data center. If I'm consuming cloud services, which I'm really thinking about as being a, a public cloud offering, now I don't have to build anything. I'm just the consumer of those services out in the cloud. Let me add something more, because you talked about the public clouds and the private clouds. There is a third category, which sort of sits a little bit halfway. We call it a managed cloud. It acts and it behaves like a public cloud, but it puts a, a um, contractual framework around what is actually delivered. So from that perspective, it's more like outsourcing. It's a paper use, but with the capability of having a real contract and having the possibility to audit the environments in which you are. Now, those three together, recognizing the fact that not all services will go to one of those, but that most probably the IT department will actually put its different workloads or its different activities across the multiple clouds, that is what we call hybrid clouds. Now, companies will, while they are moving to the cloud, still have their traditional environment and they want to run their cloud environments and their traditional environments in one environment for the end users. That is what we call hybrid delivery. So your hybrid delivery fundamentally equates hybrid cloud plus the traditional environment. And it wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be a cloud environment unless you could manage it. 